It's only when we look up at the sky that we realize exactly how tiny a speck we are in the grand magnum opus that space is. People are so busy caught up in their lives that they forget about the existence of something so unknown, and yet so beautiful. Take a look at these amazing facts that everyone should know about the never-ending, ever-so-breathtaking universe. 1. We are all made of stardust. This may sound fanciful, but the reality is almost every element found on Earth was created in the burning core of a star. All the stuff that makes up life on Earth, therefore our bodies are made from stardust. In the words of Carl Sagan, The nitrogen in our DNA, the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, the carbon in our apple pies were made in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of star stuff. 2. The human brain is the most complex object in the known universe. Our brains are remarkably complex objects with a hundred billion neurons, a quadrillion connections, and we still know very little about how this organic supercomputer operates. But we do know the human brain is the most complicated thing we have yet discovered. It gives us the power to form language and culture, consciousness, the idea of self, the ability to learn and understand the universe and reflect on our place within it. We even have an inbuilt model of gravity, which is pretty useful. 3. Neutron stars are the fastest spinning objects known in the universe. Neutron stars are thought to be the fastest spinning objects in the universe. Pulsars are a particular type of neutron star that emits a beam of radiation which can be observed as a pulse of light as the star spins. The rate of this pulse allows astronomers to measure the rotation. The fastest spinning known pulsar is the catchily titled PSR J1748-2446 AD, which has an equator spinning at 24% the speed of light, which translates to over 70,000 km per second. 4. A year on Venus is shorter than its day. Venus is the slowest rotating planet in our solar system, so slow it takes longer to fully rotate than it does to complete its orbit. This means Venus has days that last longer than its years. It's also home to one of the most inhospitable environments imaginable, with constant electronic storms, high CO2 readings, and it's shrouded by clouds of sulfuric acid. 5. When you look into the night sky, you are looking back in time. The stars we see in the night sky are very far away from us, so far the starlight we see has taken a long time to travel across space to reach our eyes. This means whenever we look out into the night and gaze at stars we are actually experiencing how they looked in the past. For example, the bright star Vega is relatively close to us at 25 light years away, so the light we see left the star 25 years ago. While Betelgeuse, in the constellation of Orion is 640 light years away, so the light left the star around 1370. During the time of the Hundred Years War between England and France. Other stars we see are further away still, so we are seeing them much deeper in their past. 6. The largest observed star has a mass 5 billion times that of our Sun. When we are talking about anything that we describe as the largest, we are only ever talking about the largest that we have observed. But with that being said, I would put money on this being the largest star in the universe. 
The measurements used to describe the sizes of other stars are based on our own Sun, where our Sun has one solar radius and one solar mass. We can then use these values to describe other stars and oh boy does it get interesting. The largest star observed so far is called UY Scuti, located 9,500 light-years away in the constellation of Scutum. It has an average radius of 1,708 solar radii which is around 2.4 billion kilometers. If it were placed in our solar system where our Sun currently sits, it would stretch almost all of the way out to Uranus, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn within it. 7. You can watch the Big Bang on your television. Cosmic background radiation is the afterglow and heat of the Big Bang, the momentous event that kick-started our universe 13.7 billion years ago. This cosmic echo exists throughout the universe, and amazingly we can use an old-fashioned television set to catch a glimpse of it. When a television is not tuned to a station you can see the black and white fuzz and clacking white noise, around 1% of this interference is made up cosmic background radiation. The afterglow of creation. 8. It takes 225 million years for our Sun to travel round the galaxy. Whilst the Earth and the other planets within our solar system orbit around the Sun, the Sun itself is orbiting around the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. It takes the Sun 225 million years to perform a complete circuit of the galaxy. The last time the Sun was in its current position in the galaxy the supercontinent Pangaea was just about starting to break apart and early dinosaurs were making an appearance. 9. Bras are optional in space, right? Many people have pondered the question about whether or not we would still need to wear bras in space since in the absence of gravity, there wouldn't be any force pulling them down, right? Well there is a little more to it than that. Because while yes, gravity would no longer be having any kind of sag effect on the girls. Astronauts still need to wear bras to stop them from flying in every other direction while up in zero gravity. Astronauts spend around two hours a day exercising in space just to combat the effects of zero gravity on the body. So that means a lot of smaller and more delicate body parts spend plenty of time being flung around by intense movement. Other women in space have hinted that as well as needing to keep their breasts somewhat tied down. When working in a professional environment it is better to not have nipples poking through clothes and so also prefer to keep their bras on for professional purposes. 10. Black holes are more common than we thought. Black holes are masses in space which have become so unbelievably dense and heavy that their gravity has the strength to stop light from escaping, sucking in absolutely everything that is close enough, hence why they are called black holes. What is less commonly known is that black holes are mostly the aftermath of giant stars whose cores have collapsed in on themselves. As the increase in density starts to pull more things into it, its mass and gravity becomes great enough to pull in light. Scientists are used to seeing black holes in areas where there are a lot of planets and material to feed their hungers, such as closer to the center of galaxies, so it was surprising to find one out in an empty area of space, just wandering about. This finding has shown scientists that black holes don't need to just exist in galactic centers, and can be much more unpredictable than we originally thought. 
We aren't sure where this one originated from, but its existence may be proof that there are way more floating out there in random places than we initially thought.